Alrighty, YouTube gods and goddesses, it is your boy. We're doing some behind the scenes right now. We got this dope art show that we're getting ready to throw down for. And this will be some of the behind the scenes of how I set this um, exhibition up and you know what my kind of my thoughts were when doing this and how I planned it and put everything together. So um, basically I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with right now. Um, I'm in the very beginning stages of planning this out. I've had the idea now for some time but um, it kind of evolved. I originally had the idea and I was going to set it up in an abandoned lot somewhere and like just do some pictures of it but we got this stop the heroin event and I thought it'd be really fucking epic to set it up there because there's going to be a lot of people there and a lot more people will be there to view it in person and then we can always take pictures of it and you know document it after the fact but um started talking to uh, Tucker F. Upper about it another amazing artist you gotta check him out he does his thing he kills it out there him and Sammy J and I was running this idea by him because I kinda felt um I don't know like there was some backlash about some piece of art that somebody did in Atlantic City like a week or two ago and they used like real meat um and you know just a lot of people were hating on it so I kinda was debating about even doing this or not because I'm kind of taking this idea from another artist who did something similar but not quite on the same you know level about you know 20 30 years ago and when she first did it and released it a lot of people were hating on it they were claiming it wasn't very artistic it was just throwing some shit together and trying to claim something on it but eventually it sold for, I don't know, I forget, like half a million dollars or something. And they set it up and bagged everything. And she just recently did another one where they opened it back up again. But, um, yeah, I don't know. So I was really debating about whether to even throw down on this or not because... A lot of people don't understand, you know, and I'm not trying to do anything crazy out here. I'm just trying to set a message. I'm not making art because I want to sell, you know, pieces of art. I'm making art because I want people to get a feeling and an image and I want them to feel some type of way about, you know, the visual presentation that we're doing. And I want them kind of to reflect maybe on their life and maybe it could change them. If I change one person, then it'd be a success. So that's all I gotta say. But I'm gonna cut this right now and we're gonna show you some of the planning stages of this. All right, so basically I got the idea from um, Tracy Emin and she's a Jewish, no, scrap that, she ain't Jewish. All right, I'm going over where I got the inspiration for this piece. And by watching some documentaries about art history and learning about Damien Hirst, I came across this Tracy Emin. And she put this exhibit together, My Bed. Um, and basically, it was like her bedroom and like how she viewed her life and like all the things like that made, that were like very messy. Like she says the idea came from a sexual yet depressive phase in her life where she remained in bed for seven days without eating or drinking anything but alcohol. When she looked at the vile repulsive mess that had accumulated in her room, she realized what she had created and she started to defend her piece of art against critics and anyone who would say that it was a fake or just like some trash thrown together, well, she said, well, they didn't did they no one had ever done this before so basically I'm trying to you know maybe do something kinda of similar to her but my bedroom scene is gonna be when you know how I felt when I was 
addicted to heroin and when I was doing a lot of drugs and I didn't see any way out and basically the only thing that got me up in the morning was being sick and needed to go out and get drugs again so I probably lived like a couple years maybe maybe even five years like that so I'm gonna try and set up the way my bedroom looked at that stage in my life and see if this resonates you know with anybody else and I'm just taking every good idea from an artist some other artist has seen and they try and you know recreate it in their own right and you know I don't feel this is you know taking something from someone else because I'm recreating it with a whole new separate idea she inspired me to do my own thing and I'm out here doing my own thing so um, that's how I got the idea with it um, so basically what happened with is Charles Saatchi he's a big you know art guy he bought it and again it was sold in July 2014 at Christie's for 2.4 million dollars so the dreams out there if you can create something that is iconic and it took her you know I don't even think she made that 2.4 million dollars that's the art investors that's someone who invested in that I think originally she only made maybe like um, 500,000 or a hundred and three hundred thousand dollars for her you know work but that's a good day's work I would claim but it's not about the money for me like I said it's more about the message and trying to get inspire one other person like you know to change their lives to not live you know that same life that I had lived and maybe it'll be someone young and they won't have to go through the struggles that I had to to you know find my calling you know I'm 31 going on 32 years old right now and I'm just finding you know somewhat of my true potential and here comes an alien ship Okay, so a little bit of the history on that, and basically I thought that I would set it up in, you know, an abandoned lot somewhere, and we'd make like a photo shoot out of it or something like that. And then I decided to set it up at the Stop the Heroin event, and, you know, running it by, and thinking do I want to take this risk for the reward you know to inspire one person and maybe have like a hundred people or 200 or 500 people looking at me like I'm a nut job I'm gonna take that risk because really I don't care what anybody else thinks about me you know that kinda has been going away ever since I did my full burn and I've been on my creative path like when I was younger I used to do like a lot of creative shit and I just kind of felt like people kind of criticized you and didn't accept like what you were doing like really like but now like I really don't care like what they think and there's people that are out there that will accept me and will offer me you know good feedback and help me to get better in life so basically I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna set this piece up. All right, this is the box truck full of vacuums right now. And I measured it across, and it's 72 inches wide. And the length is 120 inches, which is 10 feet long. So how I was thinking of doing this, I was thinking of setting up like a twin size bed, like that way. setting up a twin size bed lengthwise like this would be the bed and then I'd have like a you know my pillows or you know all that I'd lay a rug over this I'd have a couple like a lamp or a you know piece of uh, furniture to put a lamp on you know to have a bed then I'd have like a bucket 
you know, with some paraphernalia and shit. Sammy J said we need cigarette burns. Like I put, you know, covers on there. Um, and I want to, on the walls, I want to put some posters. You know, maybe have some candles, some incense. Um, and then the paraphernalia, like, um, some, I got some bottles of liquor, cigarette butts, needles, bags, um, anything else you guys think of, really. Well, anything else we can think of, I'm going to use that for right now, and... We're going to continue on this stream for now, for the boys. Phew. All right, boys, we are going to take this table right here for the mission. Thank you, Tuck, very much. That looks epic. And we are also going to take this crib here, this epic crib, and this light for the dream. Load this shit up. All right, we are here right now picking up some gifts that we have from Tuck and this is what he's got left over here of his crew what he's got so we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna do a run through real quick and I don't want this one that's metal all that's metal that is actually epic, but that's so fucking heavy. That's too heavy. And then there's these ones. They look pretty cool. And then you go in here. This is that couch. I don't know about that for the dream. And everything else is like pretty much like fucked in here. This is what I really liked. Was that. That was cool. Kind of heavy environment, boys. Woo hoo 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 hoo. For the boys. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. All right, boys, we are heading out right now. We're gonna be going home to the next destination, but I wanna thank you very much, Tuck, for contributing to the dream, for making this project worth it. Thank you for inspiring me, and thank you for letting me check your spot out. So, grabbed a couple things from you, and you'll see these things in the art show for the dream. Pew.